In today's episode of Easy Publishing to the Central Repository, we're going to see what credentials we use to access the Nexus Repository Manager that runs OSSRH uh, directly in the user interface as well as from the command line tool that we use for building and deploying and what alternative there is for the username and password. If you remember in one of our first episodes, we talked about creating an account and setting up uh, the correct namespace. And for that, we created a username and password combination as an account for the Sonotype issue tracking system. Those same credentials you've created there can be used to access the OSSRH Nexus Repository Manager. If you browse to oss.sonotype.org, you will see the user interface for the anonymous user on the Nexus Repository Manager hosted, hosted and running on OSSRH. And on the top right hand corner, you see the login button. Use your username and password from the issue tracking system and you can log in and it should work. And you should, as one of the main things, see access to the build promotion section over here, which is something we'll explore later once we actually deployed something. In terms of access, you see now and have confirmed that the username and password that used for the issue tracking system is also working for OSSRH and therefore those credentials can be used from your build system to deploy to the repositories in this uh, server which allow you to deploy snapshots and release side effects and ultimately get them pushed to the central repository. In addition to using the username and password, Nexus Repository Manager has a few user feature that is called the user token that allows you to use credentials different from the pure username and password. This is typically used in enterprise situations, but it also allows you to not expose the username and password directly on the file system in, for example, the Maven settings.xml. To access those values, you have to click on your username up here and press on the profile button. And in this profile section, there is a drop down here for user token. And this button here for accessing the user token allows you to access the token and see it in clear text. And the reset user token allows you to reset it and basically get a new value created. Button to access the user token, you will be quoted again for the username and password and confirm that. And we can see now there's the user token value and the for the password and for the use for the username and the password as well as a section that's ready for settings.xml in the maven file but those same username and password values can also be used in uh, other systems for authentication to deploy to the central repository replacing the plain text username and password which in turn makes it more secure for your deployments and with that, you have verified that you can access the OSSRH server via the user interface and for deployments. So in our next episode, we're going to try to deploy and see what happens there. Four.